الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی ان محمد و علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ التوحید و شرک و ایمان و کفر اور مسائل عظیم They are immense issues that we have to be constantly aware of. We have to take care of our Iman, protect our Iman, our faith, and protect ourselves from kufr and shirk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi Kitab al-Kareem, about the severity of shirk. He subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna allaha la yaghfiru an yushrika bih. وَيَغْفِرَ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءَ Verily, Allah does not forgive that you associate partners with Him. But He forgives other than that for which He pleases. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive shirk. If you die upon shirk, you die upon kufr, then you have no forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you have no opportunity you are destroyed. And it shows us that we always have to do our best to protect ourselves from shirk and protect ourselves from kufr. And in a narration of the Prophet Wasallam, we see one of the ways that we can easily apply in our lives to protect ourselves from shirk is by reciting Surah Al-Kafirun before we sleep. The Messenger in the Hadith of Farwa ibn Nawafil radiallahu ta'ala an, he reported from his father that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to, no- to Nawfil to Nawfil Read Surah Al-Kafirun. Then sleep after completion of it. Because it contains freeing oneself from polytheism. And this is in Sunan Abi Dawood. And was ruled as acceptable by Al-Hafiz Ibn Hajr Al-Asqalani. In this narration of the Prophet وسلم, it shows us the importance of Surah Al-Kafirun. And of course the Mu'idhatain, you know, reading the the Qul's Qul Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbi Al-Falaq and Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbi Al-Nas that those are a protection وَقُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ To protect oneself from the shayateen and in case one dies to die upon khair that this is immense there is immense reward and there is ease with doing such an act of ibadah it is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's something that we all can do and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to bless us all to die upon Tawheed. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad.